Hey, it's Greg Perkins again. This is the second of three videos in which I'm showing you how to use our Leica Exchange service to transfer data from the field to the office or the office to the field. In the first video, I showed you how to go from Leica Infinity out to the field. So now I'm going to show you how to go the other direction from your Leica Captivate controller to your office software. A couple of things to note, you will need an internet connection on your Leica controller and the Leica Exchange service is a paid service with many different options. So I would encourage you to talk to your Leica sales rep and he can set you up with the option that best fits the business that you're running. So I'm here in Leica Captivate. Uh, one of the no other nice things about Leica Exchange is you can actually set this up on your simulator in the office and use it there as well. And so I'm here in the Leica Captivate simulator. This is version 6.5. And yeah, there is one other thing I need to tell you about. Uh, from version 6.5 and onward of Leica Captivate, the Leica Exchange application is included uh, at no charge. So you want to make sure you have your customer care programs up to date and you'll get to let that Leica Captivate program for the collector at no charge. So anyway, what we need to do is once we have our account set up, is to go into the settings and put in our username and password. So we'll go to settings, go to cloud services, select Leica Exchange. We'll type in our username. It is case sensitive. Type in our password, case sensitive as well. And we could display the password if you wanted to see that. We can also toggle the box here that says keep me logged in. So that way, you'll, uh, like Exchange will be running in the background as you're working. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. This takes us to the like Exchange screen. Uh, let's just go ahead and say exit the program and stay logged in. We'll get back to the main menu here in Captivate. So if you wanted to easily access like Exchange from the main menu, you'll notice up here. Next to your internet symbol, there is a little envelope. You can click on that, go to cloud services, start like exchange, and we're right back where we were. So you can see the different options here. Send data, get data, just what they say. So if we wanted to send data from the controller to the office, we'd select option one. If we wanted to get data that had been sent to us, we'd select option two. A couple of other things here, we can look at our exchange settings. And you can see some toggles of things you want to send. If you're using this with a, an MS60 or with a Leica GS18i and you're capturing images and scans in the field, we just encourage you to be careful about the transfer of that data because those files will be very large and you will be transferring these over some type of cellular connection typically. So if you don't want to capture, if you don't want to send images, CAD files or scans, you can, uh, uncheck those you also have the ability here to select where data is where the data that it's being imported from the office will reside so you can typically go to your internal memory or your sd card in this case let's just go ahead and select sd card and press ok so the first thing i want to do is to send data to the office so i've finished my project that uh, i have for the morning and i want to send that back to the office so that I can start so they can start processing. So I would go to send data. Uh, this will show me a lot of the different files that I have on the, on the collector. So you'll notice uh, here the first job at the top, it's labeled uh, a job file. Uh, if we look down, we have several text files. Um, and these would be exports from other jobs and you'll be simple ASCII text files. Uh, so we could send one file or multiple files. So let's go ahead and select this job file and this text file. Once we have the, the file selected that we want to send, we press next. And then we select someone to send it to. So I could send it to a couple of folks. Uh, maybe you have three or four folks that need the data or in just one. So I'm going to send this to myself so that I can use it in the office software. And once I've done that, I'll press next. If I wanted to check the status, the data is now being transferred. If I wanted to check the status of that, I could click here and it would show me uh, here. You notice it says it's pending and it tells me here on this one how much of this was sent. And this is this is kind of a, uh, a spot in time. 
So if you hit refresh, you'll notice now that it comes up and says both of those files were sent. So we're finished with transferring the data to the office. It's time to go on to the next project. So what I would do here then is I would select get data. And now we see that the folks in the office have sent a file for me to download. So what I'll do is check the box, press next, and the file is downloading. So I have the file transferred. I can press OK. I can then press exit and stay logged in. And when I come back now, I can see that the job that I downloaded from the office is here. It's stored on my SD card and I am ready to go to work. Thanks for watching. We hope this was helpful. Have a great day.